Okay, hi, I'm guessing this is kind of what you want, um, but I'm just guessing. Uh, we've got kind of a story and a half thing up here and a first floor. This is all, all, all everything's set to the program default. I think the first floor is nine feet. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, nine feet on the first floor. And, you know, you didn't mention the ceiling height, so I didn't bother. I put a little bump out here created a second floor and you can see th these little dashed lines are on a layer called uh, <clears throat> ceiling break lines yeah there it is right there ceiling break lines uh, you can't select them you can just turn them on or turn them off they show where the uh, flat of the ceiling which is set up in here at eight feet basically that's where it hits the roof we'll take a look at that in a cross-section camera so here's a sec there's a second floor, the flat ceiling. There's where those dashed lines are, are showing up where they meet the roof. And it was just a guess. Now I'm going to do this all over again <clears throat> and show you that there's more than one way to do it. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save it. Go file new. Da, 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 new plan. I don't care what the uh, template is. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I don't remember if auto roof build roofs is on or not, but I don't care. It's on. Okay. <clears throat> so it, by default, it'll create these uh, 812 hip roofs, and that's what it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and draw. The, this is the first floor. <laughs> I've got a new uh, trackball, and I'm not quite used to it. So if I look kind of retarded, well, I am in terms of this trackball. We'll straighten that up. I've got these uh, Bill same wall type walls turned on via preferences. I'm not going to go into that, but that's why I can do this. Okay, and it'll probably build a little hip roof over that. <clears throat> so this is what we have currently. Let's give a quick overview of it. And uh, now what I was talking about, I probably I didn't state it properly, and that's my fault. Let's make a hip roof here. I'm going to, in this wall here on which the hip, I mean, shed, shed roof will bear, we'll open this dialog, go to the roof tab, and tell it, I said lower pitch. Well, the upper pitch, see, this is the lower pitch. It doesn't say lower pitch, but that's the lower pitch. I tell it to be three. And since I have auto build roofs on, you'll see it, it goes three. It's got this tremendous overhang, and these are still 812 because that's what I I haven't told it not to put a 12 hips there, so it has a 12 hips. So we'll select that, press the shift key and select that, open those up, and I tell them I want a get full gable on both sides there, and then it'll give me a shed roof. So now I've got a shed roof. Now let's take a look at this so you can see how it's developing. Okay, it's doing kind of what you're showing in your picture because that's what it does. <laughs> So I'm going to continue on with this. I guess I can uh, split the screens here for you so you can watch it develop. Control F6 or Shift F6. And then we'll go to this screen, make this the active screen. Upsize that a little bit. Well, I guess it's as big as it gets. Okay, now these walls here, well, let's go ahead and build a second floor. Let's go over here to the build menu, floor, build new floor. Uh, we'll derive it from the first floor. I'll just take this. I don't care what it is. Uh, and it pretty much did what, what you have because of what I told you to do. It derived the second floor from the first floor. Well, I don't, I don't want this on the second floor, so I'm going to delete it. Oops, I deleted the camera. Okay, and I'm going to close this hole. Again, the auto roofs are still on, so uh, let me turn that camera back on. I didn't mean to delete it, but I did. Okay. I'm going to go Shift F6. There we go. So that's a little bit closer to what you want. <clears throat> and uh, these little two walls here are attic walls that are right there. Uh, click on it. See, that's what, that's what that is. And there's one on the other side. The program automatically builds those things, drives new users crazy. 
But if you open the uh, dialog on these things, you'll see open. Uh-oh. My computer's, there we go. <clears throat> Look at the general tab here. There are attic walls, no locate. They won't form a room, and they won't be located with dimensions. That's just the basic default characteristics of auto-generated attic walls. I'm not going to get into that other than just point that out. If you want them not to show, you can turn them off in plan view by turning off their layer. It's on uh, hit W here, Walls Attic. And in plan view, they won't show, and camera views are still there because there's a different layer set over here uh, for camera views, and uh, at Walls Attic are still on in this layer set. There's different layer sets for ca different camera views, and there's a different layer set for plan view, and that's the way this software is put together. <coughs> now, uh, shift select those two walls, tell them to have a uh, gable wall over them, full gable wall. <coughs> now, let's take a look at cross section through here. And we've got a full eight foot ceiling here, we've got a nine foot ceiling down here. You probably want a story and a half, so I'm going to finish up manually. And you could, I could have done all this manually anyway, but I've used this stuff for a long time. <clears throat> I'm going to go over here to uh, the Build Roof dialog and turn off Auto Rebuild Roofs. Because I want to start manually editing this stuff. I'm going to select that roof plane and press the Shift key and left click and select that roof plane, open them up for specification. Tell them to be 1212. <clears throat> and it become 1212 because I told them to. Now I'm going to take that they're still selected. I'm going to open the Transform Replicate dialog right there. But you can see the Edit Toolbar. Normally this thing's docked down here, but it, you don't have to dock it. But if you don't, I usually undock it for these uh, video tutorials so people know what I'm talking about. That's the Edit Toolbar. <clears throat> I'm going to open the dialog, and it's germane to these two selected objects. I'm going to tell them to go down um, four feet. Not up four feet, dummy. Minus four feet, they dutifully go down nine, four feet, and then we can, I'll select, deselect that by hitting the space bar, and now we have kind of a story and a half thing, uh, and I can make this go wherever I want it to, you, you understand, by just selecting them and telling them <clears throat> what I want it to do, I change the pitch, make them go up, go down, if you want this uh, top of this ridge of this uh, shed roof to match the uh, roof, well then that's fairly simple to do. We'll go down here and find out what that figure is. I'm going to open the dialog box on this one and it's, the ridge is 140 and 5 eighths. I'm going to copy that. I just want the data. We'll go back up. It's the second floor. Get this roof plane here. Open this dialog. Block the pitch. Copy paste the patient top value in there that I got from the shed roof. And now they match. Now, of course, this one in the back, hadn't I hadn't told it to move. So we'll do the same thing with it, lock the pitch. The radio button position locks this uh, value. <clears throat> if I wanted the ridge to stay put, I could put it up there. If I wanted the pitch to shape, stay put, which is in, the, in this case is what I want to do, then I'll change that radio bu button position. And uh, one last thing, I'm going to hit F12. I'm still getting, I must have... Uh, the reason it looks a little funny to me, I must have, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've got the, I still can't see very clearly. Oh, okay. I'm going to send this rip plane down. I'm just sending it down in, in plan view. I'm not moving it in the third dimension. You see it didn't move over here. <clears throat> I screwed up when I uh, I made this roof plane equal in height to this roof plane when actually that's not what I wanted. I wanted those to come together like that. And that, of course that changed the value of this in terms of height. So it's 136 and 3 eighths. I screwed up. It's probably just as instructive that I screwed up. Um, no, I, I messed up. Let me start over. I want this value here copied. See, the uh, plan view location of that roof plane was not where I thought it was. 
now I can take this row plane and, and make it match. Again, lock the pitch, change the face to top value. Click OK. Now they match. That's what I intended. <clears throat> to just make this perfect, I'm going to put little break lines where these two intersect. And then reconnect them manually. I know it looks okay in terms of the cam camera view there. I don't, I don't care what that says. I just want, want those to match up. I want the <coughs> the uh, gutter to stop. Putting those little brake lines there sometimes helps. Now I need to do this the same thing with this one. Although it's on the second floor in the z-axis and the, it's three-dimensional height, it's exactly where it was. So again, lock the pitch, change the face the top value to match this, the symmetry that I've got going with the model. I'll, I'll zoom out here. I think we're done. But I think this basically what I've shown you is uh, different ways to uh, arrive at what you want. Now if you don't want that there, well then that's fine. You can tell it to go wherever you want. Okay? Well, I hope this helped you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna, in, the, in the video it'll be up on my YouTube channel and 30, 45 minutes. Thank you.